I was going live. We're good. Mm -hmm. Well, we're here, folks. <laughs> hello, hello, everyone. Oh, we're here go. barely. Our bodies are in the chair and mm -hmm. our cameras are on. We can't <laughs> promise where our minds are. <laughs> I'm not sure I have a mind left. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, you know, it was, and this morning was hard. Hannah was having a hard day. Trying, she was trying to get some stuff done before she went to work, but she had to go to Qatar. And then, um, and then my mom called and, you know, Darren has always done mom's IT stuff. And uh, she was hoping uh -huh. Hannah could help her. And she's still using Thunderbird for her email. Oh my. I mean, she has her Gmail account forwarded to Thunderbird because that's all she's ever used. <laughs> that's all well, she now she can't get in there. Uh-huh. And Hannah's like, I have no idea how to use Thunderbird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, don't, mm -hmm. I don't know anything. And mm -hmm. so she's she's upset because she wants to help, but she doesn't really know how. And yep. then she's mad because that's her dad's job and he should be here to do it, you know? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So we both were kind of struggling with that this morning. Um, and there's, you know, there's those days when you're mad at him because he's gone and it's not fair. But um, yeah. And today was one of those days. So yeah. hi Riri, hi Brittany, hi Mi Mindy. I'm glad y'all are here. We're Sorry, we started out on such a downer. <laughs> well, we're quacking is what we're doing. I read we it. Are. I read, rah, rah, I read rah, rah, rah. <laughs> I read something this morning about choosing to be a duck or an eagle. And right now we're being ducks. We're being ducks. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to be an eagle, but it's just not happening today. Today <laughs> I'm just glad I'm a I'm alive. I'm any kind of bird. <laughs> you know? <Yeah>, that's it. <laughs> I'm just yeah. surviving it today. Uh -huh. One of the things I remembered, I was supposed to be making a couple of journals for people. And mm -hmm. I have not started either one of them. Oh, and no. then I remembered I, I was getting stuff together and remembered I was supposed to put these on Facebook and I haven't done it because it requires typing and typing is hard at the moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I may take pictures of them and put them on there and good luck. <laughs> but that might be, that would probably work real well. Um, oh. Does your phone have um, photo to text? I have no idea. <laughs> if mine does where how do i do that um just a minute let me well we're glad y'all are here with us and um hopefully you're you're getting more done than we are <laughs> i'm getting stuff done but it just feels like i'm moving backwards all the time yeah that's because there's no stuff it. that i want to do and need to do and I've got um, medical bill things that I thought was pretty much taken care of. And now I've got something I've got to deal with on that. And I was thinking I was through with messing with that. But I'm not through. And so um, anyway, it's just, you know, hmm. it's just been a week. And it's only Thursday. But it feels like it's been three Thursdays. <laughs> Or three yeah. weeks trying to stuff into one. Well, Jeff is Hi, sick. Barbara. And then mom got sick. Hi, Joan. So are they both doing better? No, mom is bad. Oh um, no. Uh it was bad enough that I called the doctor yesterday and, and um have her out. Hi Barbara. Hi, Joan. Um, I took her to the doctor. Her ears are she's probably got an like a sinus infection or an ear infection. Yeah, Hannah and yeah. I are both struggling with that right now. Yeah. So, anyways. And that makes everything um, harder, you know? Well, because you're, and, you're just not up to junk, snuff. And you're still yeah, trying well, to do stuff. <laughs> but all the junk is um, draining and she's coughing. Oh, dear. So, um, yeah. Caitlin took a picture. <coughs> took a... Uh, what do you call that? X-ray? X-ray. Yeah. We had to wait for an x-ray so that you know when you have to go downstairs to get the x-ray and all that mess it takes longer hi joan did i say hi i'm glad you're here um thanks joan 
Uh, anyways, we, we appreciate it. We need love. We need some love and hugs. <laughs> yeah, this morning. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we're, I'm sure she will be fine. It's just that it's uh, it's taken a bit out of her, and she's just mm, grumpy. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Uh huh. Me too. I'm grumpy. I got the don't want us, but I yeah. have to. <laughs> uh -huh. And and Jeff is is recovering, but uh, he's wore out and he's trying to get stuff done and he it it doesn't take diddly and he's just give out. Yeah. You know. So. Well, I hope that but, he will not overdo it so that he well, can actually get well. I look. I think he did it again today. You think? I mean, he may have overdone it again today, especially in this heat. Yeah. But he was well, out in the air. Well, y'all know all that ink that I splattered on here last time. Yeah. Mm hmm Well, it was still wet today, <gasps> and I had to wipe it off. So what you see, all these splatters, those are all gold. The gold splatters. Huh. Anyway, it looks it looks um used <laughs> now. It looks yeah, you know, but it's um, but it's that that's just the gold. Now the ink that I had put you know spread on there, and mm -hmm. then the gold splatters. But the this um this did not dry. Did not dry. And it's been a week. That's weird. I know. So I was like, okay, it's obviously not going to dry mm -mm. if it's already been a week and it hasn't done anything. So. So I just had to wipe it off. Um, um, Riri says this may be the time to hire someone to do what he shouldn't. Well, um, yeah, that's probably part of the problem is finding someone. Riri, we we're trying to have a a cover built for the RV. Do you know that he's called all over town this last week and can't find anybody that can put up a pole barn we can buy That's the parts true. we can buy the parts and pieces but we can't find a contractor to take care of it that's ridiculous yeah yeah you got um, any he, remodeling guys in town maybe or well um see part of the problem is is that we're going to have to have um, plans and the permits and um, yeah and it and you have to understand too that here it's it's there's a lot of things that they can't do because of hurricanes right and, but we knew that so you know that's why we want a contractor that's why the guys are not i'm not allowing them to do it they, yeah they have to have they ha we have to have a professional do it because not only that we have to insure it so uh, it's just been one of those things he's been trying to do since he didn't feel good the dealership who you bought all the parts from oh wait they won't they don't do anything they just they sell they don't kits, do anything they, they just sell stuff <laughs> they sell they sell the parts but they don't they don't um put them up and they didn't have any contractors at all now i think he found one that we might be able to work with but, <coughs> uh there is some discrepancies in their um in the information they sent him in the email um we have to have it has to be 16 foot high and something about there was there was a notice in there about it being a 16 foot post and that that's not what it needs to be no 16 foot post you got to stick at least two or three feet in the ground four four i was gonna say you need yep. you definitely need more than 16 yeah. feet yeah here here in escambia county um for hurricanes we gotta go four so we've been we've been he's been he actually went um <coughs> yesterday up around the corner he's you know if we find one that looks like it's something that would work <coughs> he's been going there and, and asking and saying who did this for you and and <coughs> that kind of stuff so it's one of those things um we just didn't realize it was going to be that much trouble uh to get it done 
and um, there's neighbors up around the corner that have a really nice uh, aluminum one, and it's tall enough and everything. Uh, so he went hunting for, he went and talked to them and whatnot, and then he went hunting for the company, and they're gone. <laughs> they closed. Oh. So... But yeah, it's just, it's just, you know, he's been working on that. So it's so not only is it work, it's a frustration level thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, at least that it's one of those things he can do inside and it doesn't require him being out in that horrible heat. Yeah. And that's, um, That's one of the reasons that he's been working on that. That and we got to get it done. It's on. It's on the. <clears throat> we have to do it. The list. So is this um, uh, to go over your RV? Yes. Yes. That's why it has to be so big. Yeah, that's um, what I was assuming. The um, besides the fact that it's got to be really high. Um, it also has. He wants to cover the entire section, the entire pad, so that we can open the, um, what do you call those things? The slides. <laughs> Duh. Oh. Um, so if, if you, somebody needs to stay out there, then. Right, right. Yeah. And it's Because otherwise you can't, you know, if you just get a skinny one, then you can't open the slides and everything. So it's, it, and um, not only that, it will give him space to work on cars and whatnot outside yeah the, well if you're gonna do it you might as well do it right i was gonna say that's the whole point yeah For, there's no reason to um to not get it as big as the space well right now i'm just sticking some pockets on and then i will and then i'm gonna decorate these pockets are for my, my recipes out of my recipe file car, uh, box. And um, right now, my basic plan is to um, just decorate pages and stick, um, stick my recipe cards in the, in the pockets. These, Let me answer Janice real quick. Yeah, um, Janice, hon, no, uh, we don't have co-ops here um it's all as a matter of fact now it's all florida power and light which is a huge conglomerate that is pretty much all of florida um which has not been a <clears throat> it, it's been a, a little issue here in florida here in escambia county this last six months so um but no we don't have any co-ops um we just uh, but like I said, he's been he's been going and trying to check out referrals and all that kind of stuff, but we just are not finding anything. We'll figure it out. You'll get done. But um, and the other thing is, is that metal carports are one thing. Something as big as what we need is another. Yeah. That's you know. And um. Riri is right. Uh, COVID did a lot of, of a caused a lot of problems because one of the places he went the other day said he just he had to quit. Um, he couldn't find installers. He had to quit carrying carports because he could not find installers. Okay, that is just not. There we go. That's better. At first, I thought I wasn't going to put them on these sides, and then I remembered that I wanted to have room to add some more recipes, ah, and there wouldn't okay. be enough room if I don't do it on these. So, so I'm going to go ahead. Library phone book. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Let's get this bottom edge. Up. Hi, Janice. I'm glad you're here. Oh, I didn't even say hi. I I, I answered her. I, I spoke to her question, but 
I didn't think to say hi. That was really good. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's okay. We've already informed we, them. We, we already today. told you we, we don't have any brains today. Hi, Sharon. Glad you're here. Now, obviously, this is going to uh, have to have something on the inside of it. It's just one of those things that takes, you have to do a little at a time so that it, um, you can get all of the parts and pieces without it sticking to something, which is fine. Well, somebody mentioned looking like putting some recipe cards, you know, just glued to the front like I just threw them down on top of the book. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm going to do that, but I'm not sure what I'm going to use. Okay. I don't think I want to use the ones that are mine. Uh-huh. So, um, I'm not sure. Well, that's kind of how these pages will look on the cover of this. It's kind of like the pages got just torn out and thrown down. I did tear the corner of it. I boo-booed, you know, and picked it up wrong and it tore, which, you know, this is like really awful paper, so... <coughs> It doesn't surprise me that it tore. Well, I coffee dyed all these things, and of course they're warped. <laughs> uh huh. I wanted. I was going to coffee dye some stuff, and I forgot all about it. Needless to say, I'm not prepped very well today either. That's all right. I was pretty proud of myself just for finding my stuff and getting out here. So. <laughs> oh, look through our latest co-op magazine for a listing for anyone. Might be worth a calling. Okay, Janice. Um, I just um the big thing is uh Jeff's even called like there was a place over in Foley, but um, because we're in Escambia County, they can't work over here. We have Hello. different. Um, I'm glad you're here. What do you call it? Dif different different codes because of the hurricanes. But it looks I'm like sure they can just was... know find out what the codes are and do it um, that way. I, I think it's licensing and stuff too. Oh, okay. you know, I mean, some of them are licensed and some of them aren't. Um, but uh, there's one. Did he tell me it was over in Pace? Um, they work in Pace, but they don't work over here. And there's also we a friend of ours has a pole barn that a company built for him. And they're not building them anymore because they are too busy um pouring concrete houses they're poured concrete houses and he said they're they're so busy doing that that they just cannot um do the pole barns it's like okay hi teresa hi teresa um. By the way, guys, hi, Barbara. If there's anybody that we didn't say hi to, I apologize. I'm kind of not looking at chat like I should. I'm trying, but I can't promise that I haven't missed somebody either. Yeah. But we're glad you're all here. Yes, if, you missed, if we missed you, say something again and maybe... We will notice this time. Yeah. <laughs> maybe you'll get lucky and we, we'll look up at the right time. Maybe, maybe we'll have a coherent thought. Is that what yeah, you're trying to so. say? Oh, I don't think so. I don't know, but I don't think so. <laughs> oh. Poured concrete houses. 
so they'll stand through hurricanes. Um, Barbara, I think it's just because they're cheap. Honestly, I, that's that's my thought is that they're inexpensive. Um, you know, cinder block used to be the thing, but cinder block takes time um, to to put up, and you have to have a brick mason to to put cinder block up right, or you have to at least know what you're doing. And um, with our weather and whatnot, uh, and they make these new um, form, they're like styrofoam, and it actually insulates the concrete. You leave it on. I was watching hmm, this old house the other day, and um, they were putting in a poured concrete um, basement under an addition, and um, they were using this styrofoam stuff to create the forms for the concrete. It and you it, the concrete cures, and you leave that styrofoam on there, and it insulates the concrete, and it's like the R factor is um, really high. Uh, so it's you know it's um, eco friendly. Is that the right word? Yeah. Um, so that, I mean it's it's got a lot of pluses to it. Now, you know they're probably putting siding on them and all that kind of thing, but um, as long as you can get some windows in it, I'd be yeah. okay with that. Yeah. Well, you know, if I had let my husband do what he wanted to do um, a long time ago, before I actually ever married him. Um, we'd have had a house on the beach, but I said, cinder block, you gotta be kidding. I'm not living in a cinder block house <laughs> because you know, where I come from that, you know, was just not heard of. Yeah. Well, you grow up and you get wiser and yeah, you do. <laughs> Yeah, but you missed the beach house, so probably a little more wind resistant. Yeah, I would think so that it's more wind resistant. The other thing is, is that um, when you consider the environment here, uh, okay, uh, steel Kimberly. buildings, steel buildings rust. So wood buildings rot. We have termites like crazy. Um, wood, even if it doesn't get a termite, it gets a gets funguses here we've already you know we have that issue with our house and we have to have it treated did you see what kimberly said lucre putting in two cents for one cent wood prices have gone crazy maybe that's why I wow, they're doing so um, i mean cement uh, houses oh well that's another part of it probably um it, that's another reason why we're having trouble with the pole barn um is prices now granted it's just more expensive than we expected um because of prices but okay so here's the deal i don't want to do any more to this until i'm sure that the edges are okay and i'm gonna have to redo some corners and stuff like that and put some extra pieces on it. But I want to let that stuff dry. But here's a. I like that. That's pretty. Yeah. Good idea. Good plan. You know, um, it's probably going to have to have some pieces laid around the edges. That kind of thing. So. Um, and then I'm going to cover the inside with a page or something. Now I need some place to put it, and I forgot to put anything out. So let's see here. You can just sit right there. You won't bother anything there. Six fifty a gallon. I used a fifty dollar card I was given for getting my COVID booster. Didn't even fill it up. <laughs> yeah, Barbara. Can you imagine what it would cost to fill up the motorhome right now? Oh my goodness. It was bad enough while we were still out. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, Kimberly. Oh, did we say hello to Kimberly? I hope so. Um, yeah, we did. Um, everything's gluey. My fingers, that. Okay. I think I'm going to finish this page, you know, getting these glued on, and then I'm going to try to figure out what I'm going to put on the cover. Because this is kind of boring. <laughs> oh, it is. It is. Oh, I don't know okay. if the people watching are getting bored, but I'm getting bored. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, I guess, what matters. Oh. And, and I you figure know, if I'm getting got, bored, they are too. So all the, Oh, please, Rain. I just started to tell you all that rain that we got, we got, we got, we got, we got, we got. And I kept telling you it was raining and you didn't have any rain. It hasn't rained here for two weeks. I've had to water the garden, had to water the plants I put in the ground. Well, we have to water every day. Or, I mean, we've gotten a tiny bit of rain. All the rain they predicted, we got the cool weather, which was nice, but the rain was barely anything. Yeah. So we've been having to water the plants, you know, that are in the. Um, Janice says go to harvesting uh, images of food. Yeah. Well, I was mm. thinking, I've got that magazine. Might be fun to. Um, mm hmm. But also, um, it might be fun to do like magazine clippings on my cover. Oh, uh-huh. Yep. Um, I'll be right back. I need to make sure Jeffrey just got his cactus in. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I only have this many more to glue on. <laughs> uh. We'll see how far we get. That's like, oh, how many did I do? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven out of 40. <laughs> okay, getting nowhere fast. Okay, let me find that. Um, oh, Brittany, yeah. I can see how that would be hard. <clears throat> Okay, he said he put them up before I came in because it's thundering outside. Okay. Well, maybe you won't have to water tomorrow. Now that is a really pretty picture. Oh, it is. That is very pretty. I was going to see if it tells us who painted it, but I don't, it doesn't say. Well, I am lucky in that um, I don't usually have to fill my car up very often because I don't go anywhere. So that is a, a big plus. But uh, well, I'm filling I'm filling mine twice a week, but because I'm not letting it get below half full because every day that the prices, prices go up. Go up. <laughs> mm hmm. Yep. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got some. I think that's cards. a cool picture. Oh, I like that. That is really cool. Hi, Joyce. I have never cooked dressed like that in my life. <laughs> uh, like you're well, ready to go out to the to the opera? Well, not maybe not the opera, but a play or go to church or something, and then you're. No, I always cook and then change if I'm going to wear something nice because well, it would be all over me. Well, let me tell you this way. I've never worn an apron that I can remember. I've worn one, but um, that won't fit. It's a cool picture, though. I'm going to save it for something. Oh, but I, now I don't know where to put it. I should have left it in there. Because it's not like I'm going to throw this magazine away as soon as I get through playing with it in this project. Okay, I'm going to set it up there for now because I don't want to mess it up. Okay. Okay. 
Hi, Sherry. Uh, yes, Kimberly. Every day. We need to count our blessings every day. Okay, some of these may be upside down or whatever, but that's all right. I'm, I'm okay with that. Okay, these are the little tabby things that I made that I was going to put on something. And I think I'm actually going to put them on the, well, yeah, on these pages. And what is it? Your All the tabs? Yeah. These are my envelope thingies that I taped up and got all sorted out. <laughs> okay. I think this lady was maybe a little bit overstating the case. This is a cartoon. It says, the big shears are in a hat box on the shelf in the guest room closet. Anybody but a man would know that. <laughs> Like, I, I don't think that's true, actually. <laughs> no, but when my husband brings me a pair of scissors and goes like this, um, can I cut, and he's got something, he's like, can I cut this with these? <laughs> you know, you know, your wife is a seamstress and she has special scissors. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I'm not a seamstress, but one thing uh, my kids learned very early was that, um, my black scissors, I don't even have, have them out here at the moment, are for fabric and you don't touch them. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. <coughs> Any other scissors you can do what you want to with as long as you bring them back. But, but the black ones are not yeah. to be tough. Because they are not, they're not just like black handles. They're black all the way. You know, there's oh, some of those Ginger mm -hmm. ones, but they're the plastic ones. Yep. I don't think they even sell those anymore, but I really like them because they're really lightweight. And when oh, you're left-handed um, doing right-handed scissors, that makes a big difference. Um, actually, I don't know that they sell them anymore, but I know what you're talking about. They're plastic all the way down, but they have a metal blade no, attached yeah. to the plastic. Yeah. Yep. Yep. We used to sell a lot of those at the store. Oh, I really like them. Oh, look at this picture. Oh, that uh, that's fabulous. Um, I, I, I don't know that I drink tomato juice, but... Um, Me either, but it's a cool picture. <laughs> he's drinking it because it's a, a, you know, probably a, a cocktail. Yeah. Because this magazine was evidently for fancy ladies, not people like me. Yeah, I was going to say... Not people like me. Well, I better make sure this isn't. I've got somebody supposed to be calling me about the insurance, but nope. Okay. Okay. I was thinking maybe he just texted me, but. Presto pressure cooker. There you go. Barbara, I nearly flunked Tomek because I wouldn't make an apron. I told her it was a waste of my time and my ability to make an apron. If I could make a piece of clothing, I didn't need to make a stupid apron. Um, needless to say, she wasn't real happy with me. But No. <laughs> she doesn't want to hear that. Yeah. So everybody make the same thing. Mm-hmm. Before it was all over, do you know what a uh, Eisenhower jacket is? Were you old enough to know what that is? I have no idea. Well, it's like a little short cropped uh, jean jacket. Lots of buttons. Buttons uh -huh. on the sleeves, buttons pockets, buttons on the pockets, all kinds of things like that. I made an Eisenhower jacket, a long skirt that came down mid-calf. It was called a midi skirt, you know. 
had buttons all the way down the front because the Eisenhower jacket had buttons all the way down the front, buttoned at the thing, had buttons all the way down the skirt, and a pair of shorts to go underneath it because, you know, that was the thing back then. Right. Okay, I made all of that. I made a nightgown and a house coat, all this stuff. Well, the other she girls still almost it. failed you. Right. Well, the other girls were making an apron. So, you know. Yeah. Well, I, I know how that feels because I had that problem when it came to cooking in home ec. Uh -huh. I was like, seriously, yeah. we're making canned biscuits? And yeah. um, I can't remember what the other thing was. I was like, that's not breakfast. I mean, that's not cooking. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, why, I thought you could we... teach me how to cook. I already know how to cook better than that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, that was it. It's but, like, I, I just didn't feel the need to waste my time. It was a required course. We couldn't get out of it. Yeah. But I, I've been using a sewing machine since I was four. So. Okay. You know. This is not working out for me to find what I was hoping to find in here. Um, so maybe I just need, to, I was hoping to find some, you know, well, here's something. Maybe something that's an ad, but that it's also a, a recipe. Recipe. Mm -hmm. But coconut pecan filling, I'm not interested in that. I want. I don't want that on my. The all want something okay. I would like. You know that I would like. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to look somewhere else. Cinnamon sugar toast. Oh dear. Oh Barbara. Oh. Uh huh. Yeah, it's, I mean, you know, I know that the point is to, you know, to teach kids who don't have someone to teach them at home. Right. But there should be, um, when you do and you've been cooking for a while or sewing for a while or whatever, there ought to be, they ought to be willing to challenge you a little bit. That, that's what, yeah. Mm -hmm. And when they're not, then it's, you know, and it's no wonder that girls, um, you know, don't ever want to take more than the required year because it was a waste of time. Right. Well, it's just okay. like those of us who are not into phys uh, not into sports taking phys ed. It's like, oh, really? You want me to do that? <laughs> uh huh. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna look through here and see what fun things they look real pretty, but I think they need all inked. Uh, well, of course. Mm -hmm. Made cocoa to go with the cinnamon sugar toast. Okay. Well, I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> and it was a three and a half hour class. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. This was put up somewhere nice because as old as this book is, these are not turned. Wow. We made a tuna casserole, a salad, and baked Alaska. All I remember, although I know we made some other things, I don't remember cooking. So I I, I don't remember at all. It's hard telling. The one thing they did that challenged you was the, you had to make the whole meal at home and by yourself and your mom had to sign off on it, oh. and, but you could make whatever you wanted, you know, mm -hmm. but it was supposed to be something you hadn't cooked before. And so, um, I don't remember what I cooked, but I don't remember but that. That was a challenge for me because it had to make things I hadn't cooked before. Tuna casserole salad and baked Alaska. Well, you had a better teacher than I did. I'm just glad that by the time I got to high school, they had dropped the requirement of taking home math. Yeah. I took that it, was I guess it was seventh grade. Yeah, six, seventh or eighth grade, one or two. Okay. See, I'm sitting here doing the same thing I have been doing in my real life. Um, I feel like I'm working, but I don't feel like I'm getting anything done. 
I'm uh, looking, but I'm not finding, you know, that kind of thing. Uh huh. Yeah. And is it indecision? Um, well, it's uh, for this, it's like I, I see a lot of cute things, but it's not stuff I would have cooked and eaten. Yeah. Even mm -hmm. if the, a lot of the recipes I'm putting inside are things I don't eat now. Yeah. They're things that have memories. Yeah. And I guess mm -hmm. I'm, I'm looking for pictures that are something that, you know. Could you go back to your um, recipe card box and maybe pull out from your box, box more things that maybe you don't care that they show or something like that? I, I might have to. I just, the things I cared about, I've already pulled out. Pulled out. You, well, that's what I'm saying. So maybe some of the other ones would be ones you could use where you could pile them. Yeah. Because they're in your recipe box for a reason. Right. If, that's well, true. At one time you, you use them or, you know. Or thought I might. <laughs> thought you might use them. Okay. Why is my computer doing weird stuff was to make applesauce okay um i'm sure we didn't oh is it gonna rain did it make um well i seriously doubt i would have learned that in home ec either so um I know I didn't. Yeah, we didn't mom, do anything that was that interesting. Mom would have. We. I would have already known how to do applesauce by junior here's, high school. Here's a pocket that's all come off. See? Oh, oh, you can't see. Oh, uh huh. <laughs> so they made. Uh huh. Hi, Jen. And these are what was in the pocket. So maybe there'll be something fun in here. In there. Diary of Domesticity. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> we may have to use those words. Let's put it this way. It wouldn't be true here in this home. But <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Made to order soups for men. Campbell's okay. Condensed Vegetable Soup. Oh, really? And and they think that's what a man wants to eat, huh? That's what they think. Okay, well, I can guarantee my husband does not like Campbell's soup. Well, my husband, as far as he knows, Campbell's soup is cream of mushroom soup, cream of chicken soup, and tomato soup that you put in something else. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's, that's the only kind we ever had in our pantry. So. Uh-huh. Well, yeah. Well, that's about the only kind I ever have in my pantry. Um, and for years, I didn't even use cream and mushroom soup because it has milk in it. And um, Oh, yeah. Yep. So uh, I did not have that at home at the house because if I used it, it was, you know, it was too hard on the kid. Yeah. Lurking and sheltering. Uh-oh. Hi, Jen. I'm sorry if you've been here a while and I just now noticed you. Glad you're here. Um, we're getting a lot of thunder. I just hope it, it uh, shows up with the rain. Okay. Okay. Yep. We're, that's a cool car. But it doesn't, you know, go in this book. <laughs> but it's a cool looking car. It's a cool image, but yeah. Mm -hmm. All she right. had it in her book, but I'm not going to put it in mine. Here's that. Okay. I guess I'll get out my card file again and see what I can find. Oh. Maybe something will jump out at me that didn't jump out at me last week. Oh, I will tell it. you that the ones I soaked the edges in, in the watered down spray came out really cool. I'll show them to you in a minute. Okay. Yes, but add fudge. Ooh, fudge. You know, my recently, and I can't tell you where or when or what, but 
somewhere along the line, I saw this recipe for fudge where you take a can of um, one of those plastic cans of, of frosting and warm it up with about, you know, equal amounts of peanut butter. Mix it all together and put it in the refrigerator and oh my, is that good. <laughs> Very, very, very uh, bad for you, but good. Uh, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Well, anything's better when it says add fudge. Oh yes. Uh huh. Yep. Add fudge. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those are. Ooh. I need to make this now. Yes, easy peanut butter fudge. Okay, so I'm not the only one that um, knows about that recipe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so squash these and are the casserole. What? Squash and cheese? Squash mm. and cheese casserole. Four medium yellow squash, two slices of bacon, cooked until crisp. Save the drippings. One beaten egg, half cup shredded cheddar cheese, salt and pepper, Worcestershire sauce. Cook mm. the squash till tender in a small amount of water. Drain well and mash. Crumble bacon and combine all ingredients, stirring well. Spoon into bacon greased pan, one quart casserole dish, and bake at 350 for 20 to 30 minutes. Okay, that must be a, um, like a winter squash recipe. Because there would be no need to pre cook the, um, a summer squash. Well, it says four medium yellow squash, so. Yellow squash, huh? Yeah, so. Um, I don't know. I never made it because I agree with you that it doesn't need to be. And yeah, I, maybe I just, the reason is to to um, get rid of the water. Oh, yeah, it could be. But didn't it say to? No, it says it? mash. Mash. It says cook squash till tender in a small amount of water. Drain well and mash. Yeah. See, I I would I if I yeah, was going to I wouldn't make it like that. If I was going to pre-cook the squash, first off, I'd put it in the frying pan with onions and the bacon grease. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I might cover it with cheese. Cheese. Yep, yep. Okay, these are the pages I did with the um, by dipping it in the. Spray. Oh, I like that. Didn't it come out cool? They're yeah. They're funky, so I'm going to mix those in, and then I've got these more plain pages. So. Okay, and then I got some lined pages. So now maybe I should figure out a couple of pockets or something. And I, of course, have these cool recipe cards. I've got a bunch of them. All that thunder, but almost. I, I don't even think it's wet outside yet. I want some little images. There's an eggplant. Pretzel jello. Pretzel jello. That's what it says. Okay. I can't even imagine why I would have written that down. I just uh, Jen, it's, it. it's getting very dark out here, too. Oh, the pretzels are to make a crust. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a little better. <laughs> I was going, why would I have even written that down? Sounds awful. Janice okay. says, every, years ago, everyone cooked everything to death. And I, I agree. Mm -hmm. Busy day hash. Mashed rutabaga. I got to try a rutabaga. Well, let me know. What I don't you think. know that. Well, I don't <laughs> know that I've ever eaten a rutabaga. I'm pretty sure I never have. I'm pretty sure that I never have. I think I would have remembered. Um. 
you know, I mean, there's been a lot of things that Dad grew and we ate, but I don't ever remember eating rutabagas. And I've eaten some really wild things. So, you know. Ferns and daylilies and weird stuff. Weird stuff. Yeah, weird stuff. Foraged stuff. Okay, so there's some pictures. Chicken parmesan. Mm. Could be in a soup and you never even realize. Well, that's probably true. Yes, possibly. Sure. But um, it's one of those things I, I would have thought, Mom, you know, there would have been reasons why mom ate because there are things that i don't eat now because as a kid i really didn't like like asparagus um but it, that's partially due to the fact that i can't stand the smell uh yeah i didn't need asparagus of course we didn't have asparagus when i was a kid because it was too expensive oh dad we had asparagus in the garden in the yeah um, I'll grow a lot of stuff, but she never grew asparagus. It may it's just hard, not grow that right here. It's hard to grow. Um, it's not a, It's not an easy crop. Well, it takes but, several um, years of working on it to get it to really grow. Yeah, and it would have yes, had to survive through winters here be, in order to grow. So Well, but see, we're from, I, I'm from Michigan, so it, it know, was you a, think it would... Mm -hmm. You have to have certain chill hours for it. I'm pretty sure. Hi, Nettie. Um, Hi, Nettie. So glad you're here. Okay. It seems to me that I have a spray ink that would be easier than trying to ink this thing although maybe i'll just ink it let's see what happens here's the recipe peach tea <laughs> oh, i kind of like that um, lemonade mix six ounces four peach jello one and a half is to, oh that's a um a mix you mix up ah okay um, okay it's got the tang and the instant tea and the jello yeah i don't um i don't think i ever made that i made that like a spiced tea one that you do like that with instant tea but yeah yeah that's a, that's another thing um janice i know that asparagus takes years to grow and we were the farm had been there for years where we lived when I, when dad had the big garden. Um, but the garden had been sort of in the same place for years too. Um, okay. We're just going to see if we can make these work. But originally, where the garden was, had been an orchard. Uh, we had apple trees and cherry trees, and I'm um, trying to think what else. All I really remember, remember is apple trees and cherry trees. And for a while, we had a goat. That was a, a bad experiment. That experiment <laughs> it, it didn't last real long. I think dad regretted that decision drastically. <laughs> I can imagine that. Okay. Let me stick these in here. So this will be, nope, that's not enough. <laughs> and that was funny because we never had chickens or anything like that. But for some reason he got a goat. Up. Mm. 
Google, um, keep your yard mode. Uh, yeah, supposedly. I'm always like, I don't know what you are all talking about stinking, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I have the genes that asparagus doesn't make my pee sick. Ah, okay. Well, I mean, I don't like the smell of the of the vegetable. And vegetable, I'm weird. I love vegetables. Uh, I eat most vegetables. But there are certain vegetables that I can't stand to eat. And it has to do with texture like lima beans. Not eating those puppies. Nope, nope, nope. I'm thinking I don't want to overdo it because mm -hmm. I want it to be obvious what book this is. I'm thinking about mm -hmm. just like that. Oh, I like that. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Okay. And then I thought I've got some more I might stick on the back. Yeah. I just was trying to find things that were interesting looking. Mm-hmm. Rather yeah, things than. Things that have some, some little bit of, of, I like the two little pictures and then the one that's kind of just plain on top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, good. Thank you. Okay, so this is just going to be a pocket is all. So I was thinking that I would do some weird thing with it. I'm not sure what yet. I think I am going to Mod Podge them down, though. Oh, I would. Um, I think I am. Uh, you want to test your ink before you do that? Well... <laughs> That's just just oh, take your just take your work. finger and test one little letter or something on each one and because if not you might need to have you got any um, fixative like Krylon or anything? Um, I have workable fixative. I don't know if that's enough. It, it's just spray. Yeah. Yeah. All I would do is take your Mod Podge and put it a little on your finger and touch touch like one letter of each thing and if it doesn't bleed too much then i'd just mod podge them but if it does bleed real bad because those are that's old ink you yeah. might need to workable fix it. I, I just would think any kind of spray over the top would keep it from doing that that's true probably i'm just gonna go spray them because that stuff dries real quick and it's not okay then that would make it easy wouldn't it there you yeah. go yeah then I just wouldn't have to worry about it, except they'll probably blow away. Oh. Tweezers. Maybe. Uh, tweezers what? Tweezers to hold them. Oh, I was thinking about taking them outside. That's what I meant by that. <laughs> oh. But I think I'm just going to do them over here on a piece of cardboard. Oh. Uh, Kind of away from me so that um, i just didn't want to do okay. it right where i was working yeah okay. oh these these are those scissors yep. i was talking about mm -hmm. yep we used to sell a lot of those scissors I, I love them i've had them oh i as long as i can remember i can't even <laughs> i'm sure that i used uh but i know i had them before darren and i got married uh-huh so the first pair, the second pair I got when I was um, pregnant with Ethan and I was sewing and I couldn't find these. So <laughs> so now you have two pair. Aha. Uh -huh. Yep. Oh, I know. I know. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, the only gingers I have two pair of uh i actually they're little they're called five inch embroidery scissors they're a little shorter than this pair my favorite oh, uh -huh. well i busted the tip off of one pair uh oh so i bought myself another pair i still have the one pair that has the tip broke off but if i'm cutting out something important with them then it you know, if I'm trying to do like an applique or something, it doesn't work very well. Right. So. I'm just, I'm just fiddling, guys. I do not know what it is I'm, what I want out of this little 
pocket thing that I'm making. So, so I'm trying to figure it out and just whoo I'm gonna open the door. I smell more yep. than it Mm -hmm. Okay. Air condition blowing from behind me towards the door and all the stuff in front of me, between me and the door. So that should be good. Uh, okay. I think that will make it okay, little pocket. Is that another cookbook? Yeah, it's this little Fanny Farm, Fanny Merritt Farmer, Farmer the original one. 1896 Boston Cooking School cookbook. <laughs> That's a Boston. long name. It's Boston. Boston. Mm -hmm. It says suitable combinations for serving. So you have to only serve certain things together. I see. Okay. I thought you just cooked what you like and you serve it together. I mean, I do yeah. serve things, certain things together as a, because that's what I like together. But um, I just thought it was funny to have it written down. Yeah. Here's a, This is break, breakfast menus. Hominy with sugar and cream, bacon and fried Ew. eggs, baked potatoes, rye muffins, and coffee. Oh, okay. All carbs. Yeah. Well, there is some all? bacon and eggs. Okay. But mostly carbs, which will make but you hungry carbs. all day long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mostly carbs. I was trying to see. I eat my carbs in a bad time, but, you know, it's usually at dinner that I have carbs. Do you know how many courses are in a full course dinner? No. Twelve. Good Lord. I know. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'll yeah. probably be I'm really just full. way too lazy for this book. <laughs> It's too much work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hi, Janet. We're glad you're here. Hi, Janet. It's good to see you. Well, there's drops out there. Well, all I got sun out there. And wind, of course. But that's a given. It's not terrible. It's just normal. Yeah. <laughs> Jen says she'd be eating all day. Yep. Yep. I would be too. Well, the other day I fixed... I can't remember what I was fixing. I, can't, I, can't, I don't remember. But whatever it was I was fixing, I had in my head that... I had this meat and I had these vegetables and there was a couple of vegetables, right? Because I always fix more than, I almost always fix more than one vegetable. Especially like if one vegetable is like green beans out of a can, uh, then I have some other something. Yeah. And right now I have a bunch of baby tomatoes, uh, little, uh, the cherry tomatoes. So I've been, oh, making, it, so I've been making it with, um, uh, I just cut them like in half and put, uh, what do you call that stuff? Oh, oil and vinegar dressing. You know, like the, the, the yeah. zesty kind of oil and vinegar dress on them. They're really good that way. I just put um, some salt on <laughs> Well, yeah. Unless I'm like the garden, this. then I just wipe it on my clothes and eat it. <laughs> and eat it, yes. Well, um, I just wanted something different, you know. Yeah. I mean, yeah, just salt would work. 
but uh, all that's really all that really lived when I was gone off on my trip were the uh, cherries. The other yeah. tomatoes didn't make it, so um, that's what I've got. Well, those are my favorite um, kinds. I love cherry tomatoes, and I like to cut them in half and cut up some avocado and cut up some uh, either red onion or green onion and um mix that together put a little lemon juice and some salt and pepper on it and that's really good yep that sounds really good too mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay so i think this is gonna be a little tuck spot i forgot to look in here there might have been something good in here and i'm gonna let it hang over because i kind of like that so Um, I can't remember what I was going to say. Uh, I've got eggplant, you know, I had to replant my eggplants and I, it took me a bit to find the ones I wanted, but I did find some that were similar. Um, because I don't like the great, I don't like the big eggplant. I like the skinny, stringy, like Chinese oh, eggplant. I finally saw some seeds for those. I had never seen any before, but I finally saw some the other day when I was at um, Natural Grocers. Mm hmm They had some seeds for those. Oh, well, uh, the... But I figured it's probably too late now to grow them. Uh, probably. Um, I had to buy plants because it was too late. Hi, Beth. It was too late to put Hi, seed Beth. in the ground because my, you know, those froze. Those are the one of the things that um, froze out while we were gone. I had put them in the ground and they didn't make it. So well, that's the way it works. Oh, Ooh, yeah. I hear it. Uh -huh. I hear it. Are you sure you need to be on here? You got a surge protector, I'm sure. Uh... Yeah. I don't know that there's one on this computer. There's one on my other computer, but that's really not that bad if you compared to what we get some nights when we have to unplug everything. So Yeah. That doesn't mean that our cable won't go. So if the, if if I do disappear, I'll text you with my phone. Okay. Okay, I'm thinking about trying to turn this page into a pocket, but it's kind of, you know, Old fashioned strawberry shortcake, happy marriage. Whoa. Okay. That's what it says. Maybe I should save this and give it to Hannah someday. That's all it that takes, be, Hannah. That's old fashioned all it strawberry takes. shortcake. <laughs> okay. That says they just had a squall. Uh -huh. Okay. I have a little book that Lisa gave me. There's my little book because maybe that will make some. I'm having, um, I can't figure it out, they. Yeah, well, I understand. Maybe one of these will. Something here will make a pocket. See, there's just a pocket. So then I got to put a pocket on one of these. Oh, here we go. Keep Rare the broccoli. Molasses. Oh, I'm supposed to keep the broccoli. Are you talking about the picture bath or the um, broccoli ricotta souffle? Here's the problem with that. I don't see any reason to ruin broccoli that way. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Broccoli just needs to be steamed a little and we're done. Uh, that's it. how I like it too. Oh, um, did they? Just barely. Yeah. Um, this, see this craft cheese whiz in a little mm -hmm. glass? with the lid yep. my grandmother loved this stuff and she drank out of these little jars probably the last five or six years of her life that she would fill that with water at her each meal and that's what she would drink this little drink. cheese with this little tiny juice glass. glass yeah mm -hmm. but she loved those little glasses i hadn't thought about that in a long time till i saw that <laughs> 
If you took her glass away, she was very upset. So, you know, Grandma, sometimes it needs to be washed. She's like, I just put water in it. It doesn't need to be washed. <laughs> okay. Steamed with a dollop of cheese whiz. Oh, yuck. <laughs> thank you, Beth, but no thank you. Um, wash your clams before they are opened. Place them in a vessel without any water. Cover the vessel closely, and as soon as they open their mouths, take them out of the shell. Okay. As soon as they open their mouth. Okay. But, you know, I don't like clams. Yeah. <laughs> so me right. yeah. I'm a little too oh, picky that's... for that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay. I bet these are um, dried now. I'm looking for something to make another pocket out of. I just, I, I can't, I can't make a decision. Oh, I like this. That's really cute, but I think it's too, it's probably too big. I have, a, well, they said we were supposed to get some rain, but I was not believing them. And um, I'm going to go look right now, but um, on the news website and see what it shows. But, um, but it's getting dark outside. We were supposed to get some today. It says we're supposed to get some, but it you look out there and it's just bright and sunny and Okay, I could probably make that work. Yeah, it's and several hours away from us though. Unless it moves way faster than normal. It'll probably be um seven or eight o'clock before it gets here i imagine but i would love it if we would get some but i do see well there are several um kind of all the way around us but they're all over in new mexico or in colorado so they're um far enough away it'll be a while before they get here but maybe maybe we'll get some tonight yay yay okay what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna fold this right here like that so that when it sticks out like a tab it will be okay thank you janet there um oh yeah it's gonna rumble I told you my elderberry died, right? Yeah. I'm sorry. About just... that. Okay, well guess what? What? I went out there. It's got new leaves on it. Oh, well good. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you what. Every branch, every leaf nodule thing that came out of it had fallen off and there was clear liquid like bleeding out of all of the joints, right? uh-huh that was one day two days later it's got fresh leaves on it so i don't know what's with the dumb thing mutton or lamb or beef or ham oh that's gonna work just fine I forgot how I had these laying. <laughs> and I don't Kinda think I like, like this as well as how I had it before, but Yeah. Um the other the one in the middle is is different. Yeah. A bleeding elderberry. Yes, it was bleeding clear stuff. Beth. Don't ask me. I mean I called the the person that around here that I call and they called um a friend that actually does elderberry kits for syrup and stuff um she grows elderberry to so that she creates kits and to make your syrup anyways she didn't have a clue either she's like they were afraid that i had a soil board they asked me if um if 
anything else had done that and i said no because they're afraid i had um there's a virus that can get in the soil and if it gets in your soil you're just like sol i guess excuse my french but um because there's no fixing it there's absolutely no fixing it and um i said no there's another plant not but about four or five feet away from it and it's fine so they agree they have no idea what what happened to my plant it was beautiful too it had the prettiest white flowers all on it and okay i got glue in a place i didn't want okay that's close as i can remember pretty close it was tilted just a little bit the other way but it looks good yeah once i got the first one down i was kind of stuck with it because <laughs> it wasn't mm -hmm. coming back up yeah. i did get the second one picked up and that helped a little bit but we have something i didn't know we had around here you know how i i've told you in the past that near my mom's they had the little book libraries Oh, uh -huh. homeowners had put up the little book libraries or anything. Well, right. apparently, um, they have free plant libraries around here. Oh, how fun um, is that? Yeah. So, um, they, they, there's, um, there's a Facebook page for it. I meant to ink that and I didn't, that was not good um and so i potted up some aloe plants because you know i was potting up one for mom and um the other day i went to one i had to go out to get mom some stuff and i went to one that this little boy is kind of in, it's hit it's kind of his his grandpa built him a my stair step rack for the plants and anyways i took him plants and i picked up one for mom so if you need a chicken on top of the sheep huh like standing on its back is that sure because you know i have a cow and a pig and a sheep well, yeah, mm -hmm. what are yeah. you finding a little chicken the right size that's <laughs> well, let's see what the book has in it, maybe. There's a turkey, but I think it's too big. Well, I thought it was going to make me some more Mod Podge because I'm down to about this much. <laughs> but and I've got my glue all, but I don't know where the Mod Podge is. Uh -oh. I bet it is in the box and it is out in the garage. Uh-oh. And there is garage sale stuff in front of it, so I can't get to it. So I guess I won't be doing that. I'll have enough to finish what I'm doing today, but. Okay, so here's the chicken. But I'm not sure I want the chicken to stand on top of the sheep because then it's going to catch. I might put the chicken on the cows behind. How how would that be, Nettie, if I made the chicken stand on top of the cows behind? Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, I was going to say, you need to um, audition it. <laughs> First, let's get rid of the corn. We don't need the corn because, you know, we don't want the chicken pecking on the cows behind. No. That would not. But it wouldn't good. be up there very long if it did that. No. Mm -mm. Well, I can't imagine a cow letting a, a pig and a sheep stand on top of him anyways. But that's, well, that's you know, true. That's true. Here. So, <laughs> so this is not reality anyway. No. Oh, no. What? 
I stuck with that over there and it's wet over there. That was really stupid. Uh oh. Nettie says, okay, I can put him on the chick on the on the cows behind. Okay. 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 I'll have to ink him so that he stands out better because he doesn't stand out very well. But what do you think? Yes, I can't see him, but um, but I, I like could, the picture. I could put the other two on the on the ground in front of the cow. Okay. You can't see the chicken. Nope. Okay, just a minute. <coughs> well, I thought I would show you, but apparently my it's mouse... It's okay. It's not that important. My mouse... Um, go, my mouse okay, what's going on here? <coughs> well, apparently... Uh-oh, uh-oh. That wasn't good. What? Well, all of a sudden the mouse decided to work and everything went um, away. Uh-oh. Okay, now can you see my chicken? Yes, barely, but he does kind of hide, doesn't he? Yeah, I'm gonna have to ink him real good. But let's uh, let's see about these chickens and putting them on the ground in front of the cow. <coughs> Hmm. It got you. Yeah, it's been doing that a lot lately. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm going to mute. That's okay. Okay, how's that? I think that's kind of cute. Yep, yep. So, good idea, Nettie. Needed a chicken. Okay, you know what? That's too hard. I got, I got a way to fix that. Yeah, I like those two in the front. That's a good idea. Uh-huh. That way you're not leaving anybody out. Mm -hmm. Nobody gets jealous. Kimberly says, Tanya, ages ago you showed us your Mod Podge. Do you or anyone know what write, writes on it the best? Maybe something cheaper than Posca if there is something. Um, are you, are you wanting something fat? I use Posca pens all the time because I don't like to be, uh, I don't like to fight with it. So I just use Posca pens, but, um, the Uniballs, oh, just a minute. Let me put this back. <clears throat> if you, if you want a thin pen, these work wonderful. Um, this uniball broad tip uh, works great. Um, if you're writing, if you're doing something tight, this is this is Mod Podge, so that's why I'm um, I pulled that out. These uh, Pilot G2s will write on it too. Um, that's the one thing about the glue mix that's mixed with um with the mod podge the way i mix mine 
it it allows you to do things that straight Mod Podge just doesn't. Um, your it says for Uniball leaves, leaves streaks. Uh, you mean the white one like this? Uh, first shake it, but secondly buy a new one because if they do that, then I just it just leaves me irritable. Um, that's one of the reasons why I have the Poscas. They they last a long time. But they do last a long time. They last a they long time. They don't go bad time. like the Uniballs do. Right. That's right. They don't. Um, now, I have a couple of light ones that are not real opaque. So um, that can be an issue. I'm looking for something in here that I was going to show you. Um, that's brown. I don't want to write on this thing with brown. Just a minute. I got to find a black one. Okay, this is a very tiny black one, but these micron pens, um, they will write on it too. Uh, they're real, they're mostly, um, they're permanent. They're, but they're just about darn near as expensive as the um, Posca pens. They do come in different, like they have, there, there's a brush one. Just a minute, I have a brush one. It might be green, but um, here's a brush one. And therefore, you can make a thicker line with the brush, oops, I'm sorry, with the brush one. Um, but like I said, they're darn near as expensive as the Poscas. Uh, as far as, okay, these are pen plus, plus gears. They're um, an alcohol-based marker. That's writing on it pretty well, but it's not, um, it's not as opaque as the Poscas. The Poscas are a paint pen. Um, they're acrylic. Probably any so, paint pen would work okay. Yeah, probably. Um. It's just that I don't, there's so many of the paint pens that aren't really good paint pens. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I just have not in the past, I, I just quit buying them is the deal. I just. I know that sounds like I'm, I'm just being a snob with the Poscas, but they work all the time. They last a long time. And, um. Okay, Kimberly, the Mod Podge, the, the big thing is, is it use making sure you use Elmer's glue all and things will leave streaks on it. If you get this stuff on there thickly, um, it's like plastic. I mean, the glue all is PVA glue, so it's plastic. Um, that's one reason why I don't use the heat tool a lot because, um, you're you're heating up plastic and I can't always be sure that I don't mess with it. You know, it's 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 just one of those things. Doing neurographic on glued security envelope cover covered comp book. Ah, okay. Um that the plain plus gear Sharpies will work, Barbara. They just uh, I just don't like them. Just a minute, let me let me find a Sharpie. That pen plus gear is like a Sharpie. I'm looking. Just a minute. I got to find one. I'm not sure I have one. Since I don't use them very much, I don't... I don't know that I have one. Give me a minute. Let me go to the desk and see if I've got one over there. And I think you're right, Barbara. I think it would be very pretty. Ah, oh, there's the shark. Hmm. 
Okay, let's... You're letting it dry really, really good before you try to ride on it, aren't you, Kimberly? Yeah, I was going to say, it's it's and got to be dry. It's got to be dry. Really uh, dry, not just dry to the touch. <laughs> yeah, like tomorrow dry. And Barbara, it, they're... they're um, it's writing on there pretty well my thing with it is is that i just like the i like okay this is posca pen give me a minute let me turn the autofocus back on let me make you big too maybe that'll help okay maybe you can bring it in closer if i make you big yeah i'll bring it in closer and i'll turn the autofocus on it's, it's gonna bounce but that's okay okay <clears throat> Come on now, focus. Oh. Come on, you were focused. Just a second, guys. I'm sorry. I think I'm as close as I can get with this. Yeah, it won't it won't come in any closer. So um, but if you look, see how the Posca pen makes a thick dark ring and this is thinner it's not as black it's not it's not on the surface can't really tell the difference on the camera yeah let me if i can get it to focus up really close it would but put your hand up there on top of it first there you go oh you did it okay so see, the Sharpie writes really nice. It's just not as thick and dense. The other thing is, um, oh, will it chip? Well, the Sharpie's not right, scratching off with my finger now. And that's not scratching off with my finger now. So both of them seem to be about the same. Um, one, Sharpies don't come in white. That's another reason. Um, and, uh, the other thing is, is Sharpie is an alcohol-based marker. Okay, so when you have an alcohol-based marker, what can happen if you get some kind of alcohol-based thing on it? It's going to come off. So, unless you cover this with something, then, you know, if I picked up another alcohol-based marker and went over it, it could come off. Because this is plastic and this is not, it, it won't soak in like it soaks into paper. Um, okay, so like if this, if this was my piece of paper... And I Sharpie marker down here. Okay, that's fine. But then if I took a sh another Sharpie marker that's a different color or something, and this one's not, but, um, and I went over this and actually went over the line, then this marker would pick up that black because that, that is how it works. <coughs> on paper it does it less than it would on this because this is plastic it's like drawing on um on saran wrap if that makes any sense you can make me little again okay i i hope that i hope it's helpful i mean um but yeah i just uh i kind of i just kind of quit getting anything but Posca pins. Um, it, it's just, I understand, you know, but I can, I, a lot of times when I was getting these in the beginning, if I was out and near Joann's and I had a coupon, I would stop by and buy one marker. Only if I was out. Now, I didn't make a special trip to do that, but if I was out, that's what I did.
Okay. Um, now these will write on on the Mod Podge just fine. These um, Stabilo Stabil. walls. Yeah. Yes, but the problem with them writing on it is that then when you put water on it, it does bleed out a little. You know, it, it's not a little a, more than it would on something else. Yes, it and yeah. it and it spreads. So because it's going to spread even on this. But rather than trying to ink the chickens, I'm drawing around them with the Stabilo, Stabilo or whatever you want to call this silly pencil. And um, I'll put water on it and then it will give it like a shadow. That's my, that's my thought anyways, you know. Sharpie does make a white pen, says water base, but doesn't say if ink or paint works like a paint bin pen. Yeah, and Barbara, I think that I, is a paint pen, Janice. Yes. Um and the thing of it is is that um Barbara, I have only used up a couple of them over time and I use them all the time. So, you know, they last a long time. Doesn't mean me want make me want, not want more. The white ones are more trouble than the black ones, of course, because they have a bad habit of not being real, real opaque. I've had a couple. And they spit. That were, yeah, they <laughs> spit. Yeah, sometimes they spit. The other thing is, is that uh, Lindsay, is that who would uh -huh. it? The frugal crafter. Frugal, frugal crafter. She did a video where she refilled her Posca pens. With just acrylic paint. Uh -huh. I don't know if she thinned it down or what. I can't remember, but but yeah. yeah. I haven't watched I it. I think I'm going to go and look at that, but I haven't rewatched it again. Yeah, it's on my it's on my um, watch later list. The Poscas all spit. Oh, I don't know. Mine don't all spit. I gotta go turn the autofocus back off. Did I turn the autofocus back off? No, it is on. Okay, so see when I went around it with water. Now, how is it? Does it show up better, Lisa? Yeah, yeah, I can actually see it now. Yep. Okay. Two pockets. You could um, paint it browner, and then it would show up more. Okay. Not that you, you know, necessarily have to do that just because I think it would show up more, but it is an option. Well, I could just put a little more brown on it. Yeah. You know, where it... Bottle. So get a fine liner, cotty, and mix paint and water like Mary does. Yeah. Um, well, and... Did you, if you were watching Sunday, just a minute, and I'll get them out. Helen brought me a wonderful present last week. So I showed them off on Sunday. She had she was on when I I bent the pin for my I bent my, my glue bottle pen. I bent it. I mean, slap out, bent it. And I mended it, but it was still catching. So she brought me these. Now, that's my original pen right there so that I have it. But these are, she went into Joann's. They're uh, little inexpensive bottles. And um, they are really tiny fine liners. And I'll tell you what works in here um, really well is uh, pre-mixed paint pouring paint. Ah, that's a good idea. Yep, because it's very liquidy. Now, it does kind of spread out. It does not, it's not real thick. Okay, but where are those other things I use? Um, this is another thing I've done. Cake decorating section. 
Um, no, these have ink pens in them, and they came from Park Lane. They were in the paper crafting section. They don't have um, ink pens in them. No, they, have they don't have. Pins in them. They have straight pins in them. Thank you. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I'll show you the, the label that was on the top of them was like this one. She brought me the, these this adorable bee and flowers and these so that they no they came from Joanne's Sherry. So, anyways, they are the same topper piece that was that this blue bottle was so i have a had a replacement pin that's why she brought them to me but i've also done this before and just a minute i'm putting things away as i go here so that i don't have a totally trashed um space this is a type of glue it's really bad but you know that I used to use a lot, this uh, mono liquid glue aqua. Um, I like it because it has a really fine tip on it. Well, you know, then I went to this, and this is so much better that uh, I don't use this so much anymore. But I always kept the empty ones and washed them out. And now this is paint mixed with water. I don't know how um, how well it will work, but we're going to try um uh so and this has been in here for oh, a long time and this is just acrylic paint mixed with a little water So, homegrown Posca pen. Yeah, that's right. Homegrown Posca pen. I have a white one somewhere. The one thing I will tell you is to keep this this way. Because if you turn it around the other way, it takes forever for the paint to get down below. But that's just ch cheap craft paint. If I had started um, off on a different paper, it would probably would have been better. But see, you get a nice fine line. And now it does leave little blobs on the ends. You need to um, you need to make sure you let it dry. So. Okay. Well, this is what it looks like now that it's mostly dry mostly dry it's gorgeous let's see what mine looks like oh good it's pretty much dry uh, but i'm gonna have to go around the edges a few places i've got um i got some places where i tore it the corners so i'll have to put a little bit more and then i'm just going to Oh, that'll work. Mm -hmm. I can just use one of these pages. Oh, that's nice. Uh -huh. I'll have to find some that I like. Oh, breakfast shake. The breakfast shake sounds pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, see, I can just put one of these pages in there. Oops, I'm off camera. Sorry. But I need to do the corners and the edges before I do that. So... I like how it came out. There's just a couple of spots that I boo booed. It, yeah, I tore it right here on this corner, and then somewhere in here I tore it right here, right there, right there, right there. Um. Okay, so that's another pocket to stick these in. Yeah, that's they they were I thought they worked pretty good when I was using it for what I was using it for. I can't remember what I was using it for. 
it's been a while since I since I did Thanks, that. Mm -hmm. I have to switch corn, switch ears. Oh yeah, that ear I probably should, off. but I'm gonna have to get off at four anyway. So okay, that's fine. I, I um, forgot to tell you that, but <laughs> by mm -hmm. the way, Tanya, <laughs> that's all right. I just um. That ears kind of had it today. I had to wear a mask up at the doctor's office and that ear just didn't, it's just owie. Yeah. So. Okay. So we want to make Need to make it sturdy enough. I'm going to try. I ain't promising nothing. <laughs> but I'm going to try to do some cutting out of pictures and stuff before next week. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, I doubt I'm going to get that done. Let me just tell you what. Uh -huh. Well, I doubt I am either, but I'm going to try because I'm not getting anything done very fast. <laughs> of course, well, I guess, you, you know, we don't have to finish this before you leave on your trip again, but. Uh, I don't know that we're going to be taking it. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, With gas at, you know, almost $5 a gallon it's kind of a that's a huge expense oh i'm sure um, yeah um well and who knows where where you will be what it will be where you are right so what we're Just talking about it's that at your place it might be even worse somewhere else right so what we're talking about is a couple of shorter you know two week closer to home trips kind of yeah. thing yeah we may take three or four of them you know but we probably won't uh, stay out for three months like we have been and and I, we're probably not going northeast like we intended and that kind of stuff but you know we'll see we sing and we bake and we eat our sweet cake with whistle and smile happy times do we while okay that's got to go, go in as something like yeah a, I agree okay so Especially since I already used part of that page. This doesn't, it's not working. Um, it's just not happening. So that's okay. We can work around it. So this is going to have to be like a tuck. Or maybe we should put it on something bigger. And maybe we should find something to make it some. Okay, yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. Hi, Dana. She says Hi, she Dana. can come to Central Florida. Ha! Nope. Sorry. <laughs> That's, I'm sorry, Dana. That's just, you know. Um, the, I do want to someday go where the manatees are. That is, you know, that's something I would kind of like to do. Um, but if it's hot, I'm not going there. <laughs> I'm so I was tired. Of I could do that in the winter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, and um, we definitely are going back to Alabama in the winter because we're going to go um, do some things that we couldn't do because of the snakes and the um, poison sumac. Right. Um, the, the snakes come out in the summertime, and, and so there's things you can't do. Just the way it works. So. Well, at least you know that, so you're not doing something stupid. That's good. Well, oh, yeah. Um, so we'll go, we're going to go back there when it gets cold, but maybe when it gets cold, Dana, um, that's, that's, that would be the thing. 
is when it gets cold, it might do something like that. I need something. So I'm thinking about getting one of my punches out to make a, a little border thing. Sounds like a fun idea. You know, I don't know why a cookbook needs lace, but it does. So, you know. In honor of all those women with their we lacy apron. Go and take an airboat ride. Okay. Kim, oh, yeah. An airboat ride. That would be cool. Um, I don't need to see alligators, though. I've seen them. Once is enough. Yes, once is enough. <laughs> once is enough. I had a piece of this. Let's try it with this. Let's see what happens. Oh, this is heavy cardstock. Okay, it says no. It says it's not going to cut that. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. So, all right. That's okay. I can, I can. Kimberly and Dana must be close together. It sounds like it. This is painter's paper, guys. It, it's the stuff they use to... Uh, what do I want to say? It's the stuff they use to keep you from painting on the wrong spot. Dana, are you talking to me or Kimberly? Because um, we're in Panhandle in Pensacola. Okay. That punched right through there, but that heavier craft cardstock, it did not want to punch, so... It didn't surprise me that it wouldn't. This is not my favorite punch either. It has attitude. Shame on it. Yeah. Well, see? It's already stuck. There we go. And I have I have aluminum foiled it and I've wax papered it and so it's just got attitude. That's all right. We have attitude right now too, so can't blame it too much. <laughs> no, you can't. It's probably feeling overworked, just like we are. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have to tell you something really funny. Since it's almost time to go, I'll leave you all with a parting thought. Okay. Let me tell you about this. I have found out in the last few weeks that... It is very hard to shave your legs when you have sock indentations on them. Okay. I have always pretty much taken my shower in the morning, so I wouldn't have sock indentations on my legs. But because I've been working out in the yard and, you know, then making beads and being sweaty all day, I've been taking my shower in the evening <laughs> so I've 
keep forgetting to take my socks off in time. <laughs> and I have these dents in my legs. And I can't, I can't shave. <laughs> so you have a little, a little uh, ring around your leg that doesn't get shaved? Yeah, it's kind of like furry leg right there. <laughs> okay. So I had, I had Barbara to... says that's a first world problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is. But it was so funny when I realized the other day that it was just, you know, it was one of those things that <coughs> irritated me for last <coughs> It's like, what is going on? Why is this a problem? <laughs> then I realized it's because. I, you know, it took a while. I, I t I'm telling you guys, I'm, I'm not all, you know. Maybe you need some looser socks. Well, you know, they're just uh, light cotton socks that because it's hot here and yeah, that very top row. <laughs> it's like okay, it's like the okay. What do we think? I think that'll make a cute pocket. I love it. I think it's adorable. Yeah, I think that I actually think I'm going to put it all the way up. I think so. Yeah. It may need a little washi tape on it too because, you it know. Might. Okay. Okay, let's see here. This needs to be cut off on both the top and the bottom a little, though. Oh, okay. I just remembered I was going to ink these before I put them on. Oh. Uh -oh. They are been coffee dyed, so. There you go. We'll just decide that's enough. Uh-huh. Yes, we don't need, we don't need to overdo everything. But I do think we need to round the corners on this. Well, I can I can say one of a couple of things. One, at least I'm taking a shower. <laughs> there you go. At least I'm shaving my legs. <laughs> So, you know. Everybody's grateful for both of those things, I'm sure. Yeah. yeah. Just gotta go talk to the hubby. I got gluey fingers. It's driving me nuts. So I don't like gluey fingers. But doing what I'm doing at the moment, it would be silly to clean them because I'll just Sorry. get more glue. That's all right. Everything okay? That was, yeah, it was the dentist's office, and it, oh, I don't know. Okay. I don't know why they call me for Jeff's appointments. <laughs> you know, it's like, okay, guys. Uh, I'm not his mama. <laughs> well, and you're the contact person for your family. Apparently, I, I get everybody. They ha everybody has to call me, and I have to make all of the little, um, uh, all of those little uh, what you call it appointments and stuff. Yeah, uh, but that's all right. Thanks, Barbara. Oh, I really like this. I think that's going to be cute. It is very cute. I have several books, and one out of that collection is among them that I still haven't found of stuff that I set aside 
for this. Uh oh. <laughs> That's so, not good. I know. Uh. And and I didn't know for sh I didn't know when his appointment was, so I couldn't answer her question. I had to take the phone to him. Um, yeah. Because while I usually put most of his stuff, we've I've been so busy. His appointments are not on my schedule. Oh, that's another thing. Um, I seriously, seriously doubt that I'll have to spend the whole week, but uh, I have Judy. Yeah, you know that stuff on on Monday morning. I have to go for jury duty. Jury duty, yeah. Jury duty. So um, I can't imagine it will take me all week, but. Yeah, Hannah has jury duty for the first time in a, about a week from now. Maybe a week and a half. I can't remember. Can't remember. It's a Tuesday afternoon. Uh, which is weird. Was, yeah, yeah, I know. It. And thank you, Barbara. Um, it's I need to get off at four, and I do need to get off soon, but... It's not like I've got to leave in five seconds to go get Hannah. It's just I've got some things I need to do before I pick her up. Uh -huh. And so um, so it's not, um, I'm not in trouble because I'm two minutes late. But I really do need to probably get off <laughs> in the next few minutes. So you got to get to a stopping point is what you're saying. Yeah. And I, I'm at as good a stopping point as I'm going to be. I've got. See how many have I done? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen um, sets of pages <laughs> have um, pockets on them now. Yeah. So, I, uh, not quite three times that many left to do. I got my cover all pretty so that's good well i haven't I gotten like my that. cover finished but it's getting close so yeah okay and did i i'm I thinking i may have to do some more gold splatters oh yeah mm -hmm. on top of the recipe cards yeah i'm not That'd sure i haven't decided yet but anyway i'm gonna let it set like this and Finish drying. And let these okay, just I think here. I'm going to make a tuck on top of a tuck. Oh, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. That's very cute. I love it. I think that it's going to have a little piece of washi tape up here, though, that goes weird. Like that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting to work, to decorating pages instead of just sticking pockets on. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I'm I'm just kind of you know doing it as I go because that's all my brain had in it today. Yeah, well, that's main reason I'm sticking pockets on because that's what my brain uh -huh. could do. But I am happy I went ahead and got this done. Yeah. So. Anyway, I do need to go. Um, okay. So I'm gonna end the broadcast, but I love you all. Y'all have a guys. great day. And we'll be back on Tanya's channel at 2 o'clock next Thursday. And she'll be on Sunday at 1. Mm -hmm. And I'll be on Monday at 6. So hopefully yeah. we'll see y'all both all of those times. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.